What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about Evil Dead the game. So this was obviously one of, uh, I would say, a very big surprise announcement at the Game Awards. Maybe not going to be the biggest game of all time, but definitely a pretty a pretty big announcement that they did. So I want to talk about my feelings on it, how it, maybe they could pull this off, how maybe uh, there could be some weaknesses in it. I want to do that all in this video. Really quickly, before I get started, make sure, as always, you guys are subscribed. Make sure you guys have the bell icon turned on. And if you also want to follow us on on Twitch, you can look in the description below. We have a Twitch channel where we're going to be live streaming a couple times a week. So just uh, basically even more content from me, okay? So look, um, I, you know, when this game was being shown, I was trying to do the game, right, where you try to, like, predict what the game is before you start to see certain parts of it. Um, as soon as I saw Ash, I knew I'm sure people that are more into Evil Dead probably could have just heard his voice and figured it all out. I'm not... I guess transparency is probably important, right? I'm not the biggest Evil Dead fan in the world. It's not because I don't like it. It's just because I haven't really gotten into it. But I'm um, I'm looking forward to this game. This is definitely a game I can tell you with 100% certainty. Like, I will buy this game. This is a day one buy. This is a day one play for me. There are concerns a little bit. The biggest concern to me probably being that it looks a lot like World War Z, which isn't surprising because it's the same de uh, developers that made World War Z. I mean, it looks better when they showed the actual gameplay to it. It looked a whole lot more clean. Now, it could also be because there's just generally less things on the screen. I'm, I'm just a little concerned that it's going to be literally Ash and Friends versus, like, massive amounts of enemies, which, again, I mean, I'm not a big fan or I've never really, you know, been into it, but I don't really know if that's what the point of it is. We'll have to see how they pull it off. What's what's cool to me, well, a couple things. Well, number one, it does look good. I mean, there's zero doubt about it. It does look good. They talked about how there are, I believe, over 20 different weapons. That's very cool. You see that, I think, evidenced a little bit in the, the gameplay presentation. Or the, the, the very small, I guess, uh, gameplay snippet. You see them in a car at some point. So there is a traversal that is not just walking around and not just running. Um, this is a co-op game, okay? Now, we'll have to see what kind of co-op game. I think they just said co-op game um and you know it says you could play up to four players uh on like ash's side but there's also more there's also pvp so i feel like there's up to four players if you're just doing general co-op if you're just going through the levels and then there is pvp where you are ash and his team and you're facing off against you know the enemies and the uh, you know us as players can actually play as them so we get to play as these supernatural kind of beings that that hunt him so that is pretty cool that is uh, honestly kind of cool uh, kind of reminiscent um you, I, I thought this game at first was only a playstation uh, you know a, a game it's coming out on all consoles okay it comes out on pc the xbox series x and s all that stuff xbox one so it, it's not but to me it reminds me a little bit of not exactly, but like a Predator Hunting Grounds Friday the 13th-esque kind of game mixed in with what this game is trying to be, like World War Z, basically, okay? So, you know, I, I honestly was impressed by it. I think, again, the only weakness is I'm just a little worried that's going to be kind of a copycat of what they're... I mean, I, I own World War Z. I guess I should have maybe said that earlier. I own World War Z. I actually really like that game. I think that game is a really solid game. Remember, we know that there's a second game being made, World War Z 2, so that, that'll be interesting to see if all three of these games are very similar, but it's not like they're going off of a, a terrible product. I'm not saying, like, I hate that game. It's just that I want this game to be uh, very independent. I think they made generally the right choice. I mean, this is a cool kind of thing uh, where you play as, again, like a group of people. Funny enough, me and Degenerate J, we made a video several months ago and we talked about movies that could become games. And obviously, my number one was Scream. Okay, I really, really wanted that. But we did actually talk about Evil Dead. That was one of the ones that we had talked about and pitched as an idea for a game. Guess what? We're psychics. It actually happened. We all know that they were waiting for us to make that video to then say, oh, that's a fantastic idea, guys. We need to make that game now. And that's how it happened. We all know that. We're just going to ignore it going forward, right? But no, honestly, very, very exciting. It's a game that uh, I think I'll, you know, I'll be playing with hopefully people online, right? If anybody wants to play with me online, I'd be totally willing to do that. Fun game. Nothing I think that's going to be too revolutionary, but 
I mean, it is fun, and when you have a property like this, again, like I understand what these properties mean, right? Over the even the years I've been on YouTube, I've covered uh, extensively Friday the Thirteenth, the game, and people love that for a lot of different reasons, and some of the reasons were because of the license, uh, Predator Hunting Grounds, right? I have a very love hate relationship with that game, love for up until like the first month that after the game came out, and then kind of hate after that. But one of the main things that keeps people playing that game and also just gets people excited for that game is because it's Predator. And I understand that people really love that, and I've heard it loud and clear. So that's the other thing you got to remember, too, with this game, that even if it is a little copying other games, I mean, the idea that this, and this is actually, you know, Bruce Campbell, too, so this is not like some imposter, uh, you know, being Ash. This is actually him. So that's very very cool. I think a lot of people are probably very excited for it. Again, I think, honestly, this was one of the top, like, four or five announcements easily at the Game Awards. So I think they nailed it. I'm very excited to play it next year, and we'll, we'll have to wait to see a little bit more. You know, they talked about maps, that there are going to be, you know, more than one map. So we'll have to see how many maps there are, what kind of structure the game is. Is it like World War Z, where there's a couple different uh, levels or a couple different areas, and then there's like stages of those levels. I feel like that's probably what it'll be. I really don't expect anything different than that. If they want to do something different, that's totally cool, but that's kind of my expectation. But overall, I would say I am pretty darn excited for this game. So let me know, guys, in the comments below. What do you think? Were you uh, surprised by this game? Do you think it looks maybe too much like World War Z? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. As always, make sure you guys are subscribed. Make sure you guys have a bell icon turned on. And again, if you guys want to follow our Twitch channel. It's Podcast Now. That's the name if you guys want to look us up on Twitch. But also, the link for that will be in the description below, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope to see you all on the next video.